Every time I stand behind the mic, it reminds me of you. Maybe that's why I could not forget you. Maybe that's why I only hear myself in echoes of you. See, the slenderness of the mic stand and the mic that crowns it reminds me of your slender legs and the things that crowns it. You see, I visited ecstasy on your lips. Ecstasy that gave birth to stillness, the mother of nothing. You see, every time I attempt to write about you, I'm reminded that my backbone was right about you. I'm reminded that grief can only be a metaphor for joy for so long. I'm reminded that the ellipse never truly conquer the sun. Ajike, one day, I'll tell you into a story. A story of how man can be a metaphor for love. A story of how love can be a metaphor for forgiveness. A story of how forgiveness can be a metaphor for strength. It will be a blockbuster, a metaphoric blockbuster. In that story, I hope I don't cloak my grief with a straight face. Though I'm tired of my poems being a metonym for grief. So when you see my face antonymous to sadness, do not think that I am not grieving. I just don't think it's wise to build a sadness. Grief is second nature here. Call it reparation. Call it recompense. See, I do not know what attires tomorrow would come in. It would come early like a one-minute man coming. But I see the future in the colors of hope. When it knocks, I pray you are not too scared to say come in. All those bricks we failed to paint, do not stop another from painting them, as long as you like the colors. There are only so many ways a man can be broken, till there's nothing left to break again. Ajike, do not break again. Thank you.